Hello everyone. Welcome to our Ashram. Today we are continuing with the series of finding uh, solutions to the complex analysis of 2020 civil services examination. And this is your question number 4a. If v r theta is r minus 1 by r sin theta and r is not equal to 0, then we have to find analytic function f jet is equal to u r theta plus i b r theta. Now we are given v r theta as r minus 1 by r sin theta and r is not equal to 0. We are supposed to find this f z is equal to u r theta plus i v r theta. So the whole purpose is to find this u r theta and v r theta is already given. Again, this is your Cauchy Riemann equation in polar form and such question has also been asked in your IS examination 2019. You can check our videos where we have find solutions to civil services 2019. Okay, so we will pin that for you. So this topic has been repeated from the last year. Okay, now if we write this Vr theta, okay, we are already given. So we can use this Cauchy Riemann equation in polar form. So we can write V theta, that is your dV by d theta is equal to R UR. Okay, so we can write V theta is equal to R minus 1 by R cos theta from here. Okay, now this is R UR. So we can further write u r theta is equal to 1 minus 1 by r cos theta. Okay. And this is your 1 by r square because we have divided by r. So u can be written as integration with respect to r. So this is 1 by r cos theta. So we can straight away write our answer as fz is equal to u r theta plus i v r theta. Okay. Now, this can be written as r plus 1 by r cos theta plus i and v r is given as r minus 1 by r sin theta. So here we can stop. Our answer. Now we can see within very less time we got our answer. This was asked for your 15 marks. Okay. Now another approach can be directly using our Cauchy Riemann equation fz is equal to e to the power minus i theta. Okay. And ur plus i vr. So again, we can begin with our vr theta, which was nothing but r minus 1 by r sin theta. So here vr theta can be written as vr theta can be written as 1 minus 1 by r square minus minus become plus sin theta. Similarly, v theta can be written as r minus 1 by r cos theta. So we are interested in r. So ur can be written as we read, have written earlier as well. This is nothing but 1 by r square cos theta. Okay. Now I can write this as f dash of z is equal to e to the power minus i theta and u r plus v i theta. u r can be written as 1 by r square cos theta plus i v r theta. This is nothing but 1 plus r square sin theta. Okay. 
So if we can club this like this cos theta plus i sin theta that is we are writing in Euler form minus 1 by cos theta minus of i sin theta okay so what we are writing we are writing in terms of minus 1 by cos theta so this is nothing but minus minus become plus so this is your sin theta for this part so this effectively give us this can be written as ei theta minus 1 by r square okay and ei theta we can write so this is what 1 minus 1 by r square e to the power 2i theta this is your f dash z so f dash z can be written as 1 by 1 by z square so f z is written as z plus 1 by z okay so this we can write in terms of so here also we are going to get the same thing cos theta plus i sin theta so if we just club this in terms of real and imaginary part so this can be written as i sin theta now i will just write and this is your one because conjugate is multiplied so i can club this r cos theta plus okay one by r cos theta plus i r minus one by r sin theta now here also what we are able to do is we are able to do the same thing the point I am trying to make is that how to spend less time in such questions. So I first approach the question in terms of what was being asked and I manipulated as with regard to u r theta and family answer and this is your general method secondly that I have applied. Now Suppose if they have asked you to express this in terms of your Cartesian form. So we can easily express this fz is equal to z plus 1 by z. Or they can ask you to write fz in terms of z. Okay, so that is this would have been your answer. But since they have asked in r theta form, we have written this. Now, this can be written as x plus i y plus 1 by x plus i y okay so this is x plus i y plus x minus i y upon x square plus y square now you can draw the parallels x plus x by x square plus y square plus i y this is in your cartesian format Okay, now all this business of Cauchy Riemann has to be used in your complex analysis at the same time its application when we are going to find out stream line and stream function, especially stream function. Okay, and this will uh, be studied in motion in two dimension. All right, so there also they will be giving you the Cartesian form and your polar form. So there is nothing to worry and it is interchangeable okay so you can see the parallel between the two x and x y we have written and r theta we have given so this is applied in your fluid dynamics questions also and this question even in fluid dynamics when we'll be doing the question we are given to ask a similar question so this concept has been asked twice in 2020 itself okay so the whole point of doing this question is that you have to correlate you have to correlate this CR equation will be immensely helpful in complex analysis and 
fluid dynamics all right so and as you can see even in 2020 on the similar line they have asked question in your fluid dynamics as well so of until unless you do not analyze question from different vantage point that is the question is very sim simple but you have to articulate if because it is of 15 marks so i have started this question with the basic thing which we are supposed to write and we just finished in 2 to 3 line but then it is of your 15 marks so you can follow the procedure and you can also find the analogy between your cartesian and polar format and then i have written in terms of x plus x square plus y square just to give the value point to this question so you can uh, like this video and uh, you can share among your friends if you find this helpful and write in the comment section as to what you did in this question and thank you for watching